Some of the things I love about the Honda Element are the service interval indicators on the dashboard. These are icons and numbers that light up to remind you when to do certain service items on your Element. The letter A is for an oil change, and the 1, 3 is for tire rotation and automatic transmission fluid change. In this video, I'm going to do the fluid change. Let's go under the hood on the driver's side just behind the battery. There's the yellow dipstick for the transmission that is also the fill plug to add fluid. The fluid we are going to use is specific for Hondas and is called ATF DW1. Do not use Dexron, Mercon, or any other version of fluid as these will damage your Honda transmission. Even though the transmission holds about 7.5 quarts, the standard service drain amount is right around 3 quarts. The drain plug is straight back under the transmission and is removed with a standard 3 8 square ratchet drive. Bend the plastic panel aside and just break the bolt loose without threading it out yet. I'm going to use this low height drain pan that holds 7 quarts. Plenty of room for the amount we are going to drain out and yet it fits easily under the car without having to jack it up. With the pan in place, I can now thread the drain plug out and get the old fluid flowing. The transmission actually holds over 7 quarts, but because of the design of the transaxle, it will only drain about 3 quarts at the service interval calls for. This will take a few minutes. While that's busy draining, I'm going to clean up the drain plug and put a new crush washer on. Here's a neat feature. The drain plug is magnetic, so any steel particles worn off the gears will be captured at the plug and won't stay circulating inside the transaxle. It's time to open up the new fluid and add it. The old fluid is just barely dripping out by now. With the new crush washer installed, hand thread the drain plug back in and then use the 3 8 ratchet to tighten it down firmly without stripping anything. I've taken a regular transmission fill funnel and added this plastic tube to more easily reach the fill hole. It is just straight down over the battery and into the dipstick port. One after another, the three quarts of new Honda fluid go down the hatch. Notice how much lighter in red color that it is than the old fluid that we just drained out. Once you've put three quarts in, pull up the funnel, wipe it off, and check the dipstick, and top it up as needed. We're almost done. After closing up the engine compartment, it's time to reset those dashboard service icons. With the key in the second position, the display at the bottom of the speedometer should still show the wrench and the number symbols for the transmission and oil change. I'm going to reset all of the icons because I changed the engine oil in the same session that I filmed this, but that is a service covered in a different video. Cycle through the odometer displays by tapping the trip reset button, then hold it down until the icons flash, and the icons will then disappear and the oil life becomes reset to 100%. And that's it. It's a simple and inexpensive service to extend the life of your Honda Element. Thank you for watching, and here are some links to some other videos that you might find interesting. And be sure to subscribe.